I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. So are you excited being the new Cub House? Let's dine out. Yeah, I am like thrilled. It's actually my dream job. All my life I've loved to eat and to get this opportunity is like amazing for me. Tell me why you're the ultimate foodie. Oh gosh, because I love to eat. I live to eat. Everything about me is eating. I wake up, I want to eat. I'm at the gym, so I can eat. Everything's about food for me. Basically, I'm the diva of the show now, so I'm here to make sure that Alan and I look fabulous. You know, that our noses are powdered, and our hair looks good, and our clothes are coordinated, so. I'm taking a lot of responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility to keep Alan in line. So yeah, I have a full-time job eating and keeping Alan in line. Welcome to another great edition of the Let's Sign Out Show. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, and I have the pleasure of introducing you to my permanent co-host, Trisha Jansen. How are you doing, Trisha? I'm fabulous. Now, it's a lot of eating involved, and uh, I know you're up for You're a big foodie. I'm a huge foodie. I love to eat. So, uh, okay. I have well, my stretchy pants on. <laughs> so do I. I've been doing that for many years. <laughs> What's on the menu for today? First, we're off to Redlands for some unique barbecue at Mill Creek Restaurant. Then we're going to step back in time and visit Mill Creek Cattle Company, which is a stone throw away from Redlands, for some old-time Western hospitality and some tasty grub. Located just off the 10 freeway at the California exit in Redlands is a unique barbecue-themed restaurant called Mill Creek. Not to be confused with their parent Mill Creek Cattle Company restaurant in Mentone, this smaller quaint restaurant is a clean and inviting California Western themed eatery that was recently featured on Restaurant Impossible on the Food Network. The menu features a large array of breakfast, lunch, and dinner items, many of which you will not find anywhere else. Everything on the menu is made fresh in the kitchen and under the directions of owners Lisette and Steve Brown, Mill Creek is a restaurant that you really must try. You know, I've known about this restaurant for many times. I've eaten here many times. And to me, this is the finest it's been. I'm not a big country western fan. To me, it was real cluttered before. Right. Now it's more California western. Yeah. It's just enough bit. to give you a little something different. But uh, it's the food way you want to come here for. For and, sure. Uh, let's get right into it. All right. For breakfast, I would suggest the kitchen sink omelet. This is $8.99. This is a four egg omelet with sausage, ham, tri tip brisket, and lots of bacon, as well as sauteed mushrooms and cheddar and jack cheese, topped with pico de gallo, avocado, and a choice of side and a beverage. All for $8.99, a terrific deal. Go for the tater tots. You can get regular potatoes, which are okay, but the tater tots are you want to go to. But this is a great breakfast. It has a lot of meat, so for those protein eaters out there that want a lot of protein, this is a great dish. For sure. It had three of my favorite ingredients, bacon, cheese, and avocado, so how can you go wrong? Was, I loved it. It was really good. Delish. Next came the stuffed French toast. This is a new item on the menu. This is $6.99. You can either get it with bourbon apple or strawberries, duh, we went for the bourbon apple. Oh, for sure. This is two thick slices of Texas toast bread that was uh, put in an egg bath and then uh, grilled. Mm -hmm. It came inside, it was stuffed with a sweet cream cheese filling. And then they had Granny Smith apples sliced real thin and they it was kind of uh, cooked with bourbon and cinnamon. Butter. And butter. And what's good about butter. that is you really don't taste the alcohol. No. You get that nice Jack Daniels bourbon taste. Yeah, no, it's cooked out, right. but it has just a great, and lots of cinnamon. Yeah, nice, Very nice fresh. flavor. And you get your uh, sausage or bacon. I would go for the sausage, even though you like bacon. This is just another nice breakfast. My only suggestion is they put a little more cream in it. Cream so, cheese. A little more cream cheese. Yeah, cream, cream cheese. cheese filling. Yeah, I felt like it needed a little bit more cream cheese. I loved that Steve makes his own apple. Uh, he takes them and, you know, does the whole peeling them. them. And, yeah, and I just thought that made it special. Now here's one of many Robert Irvine specialties. This mm -hmm. is the Mill Burger, $8.95. Wow. <sighs> one third pound ham formed all beef burger. It was grilled, placed on a house made bun with steak sauce, brisket, mm -hmm. coleslaw, and a little drizzle of either steak sauce, barbecue sauce, yeah. I wasn't sure. 
juicy, messy as can be. This is so one that good. I need an extra pair of hands. What I liked about it is the burger was very juicy on its own, mm -hmm. and then the the meat, the the brisket, was so good. It was tender. I mean, it, was and nice tender it wasn't tough at all. Yeah. Um, I loved the 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 crisp coleslaw with it. I thought it was delicious. Uh, so good, and the bun. I have to talk about the bun. Mm -hmm. Hand formed. Fluffy, light. I, I can't say enough about their buns. Yeah, very, very good. They have good buns. <laughs> I'm, not gonna say, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, next came the half pound spicy leek sandwich, seven ninety nine. Now this is a sandwich where if you really want to pig out, yeah, and you don't mind how you look and you know wear a shirt that's messy. He goes, yeah. this was a substantial sandwich. This is two quarter pound spicy leek sausages that are split in half and they're grilled. Then they're topped with onions, bell peppers, peppers mm -hmm. jack cheese uh, mixture and barbecue sauce, and this is a massive yeah, it's creation. Huge. Delicious, it had kick to it. I like something spicy, this one did. Now we had this with the coleslaw by itself. Yeah. We liked it so much on the last one, we wanted it by itself, and yeah. uh, it was a nice effort. If you like spicy, this is what you want to go after. Yeah, I'm not a huge sausage fan, so, you know, it definitely wasn't my favorite, but I thought it had good flavor. Do you like spicy? I like spicy, yeah, yeah I this like is spicy. Nice, almost like a Cajun kick. Yeah, it had a little kick to it. It was yeah. good. Okay, next came the tour. This is $7.99. This consisted of three mini sliders with tri-tip, brisket, pulled pork, and it comes with a side and a drink for $7.99. I don't know how they do it. Crazy. That's yeah, nuts. It's a huge portion. Now they say mini sliders. I want to know what the regular sliders yeah. are. This was a nice substantial amount of tri-tip brisket and oh, pulled yeah. pork. All you the meats, share that. All the meats were very, very good. Juicy, tender. I've had them before here where it looked dried out. It wasn't here no. now. And um, again, this, you get the choice of side. We had sweet potato fries, which are excellent. They were so nice good. Nice and crispy. Okay, next is another Robert Irvine special. This is his chili, $5.99. Now this one really threw me for a loop. It was delicious, but it has turkey and chicken. It, yes. No beef, no, no. tri-tip, no bit of meat. Chicken and turkey only. With, and it comes with onion, um, a, a ch onion, grated cheese, yep. cornbread. And um, I, the chili was excellent. I, I actually loved this chili. I thought it was so good. I make a lot of chili at home. I'm kind of a chili snob, actually. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It comes out. I know. But I thought this, I mean, I would come for just the chili. It's and, that good. Well, it was nice. It was rich. It was, had a nice, bold, assertive yeah, flavor to it. But not too spicy. No, and no beans. I don't yeah, really like chili beans. Yeah, not a fan beans, of beans. So. Yeah, very good. And then the cornbread muffin, you know, usually cornbread's very dry. It's uh, It was very moist. I really like that. Well, I, I, I've had more moist. This is a little flaky for me. I, cornbread's one of those things either. How mushy do you want it to be? Well, I'm not mushy. It's just dry. I like no, real moist. I thought it was perfect. Okay, well, okay. Perfect. Your, your opinion. Now we have ribs. These are pork spare ribs. $16.99. Now this is a very special rub that Robert Irvine came up with. It has a coffee uh, base rub to it. Yeah. Dry coffee rub. It's very, very good. It's delicious. This is five large, meaty, huge, tender pork spare ribs. Um, it comes with two sides. We had a uh, three cheese potato um, and the onion rings. Yeah. Um, absolutely delicious. This one had a lot of smoke flavor to it. I it thought. did. Very delicate. They, yep. they uh, Based it with their sauce, their, their barbecue sauce, and I really like the ribs. I mean, I've been critical of them before, but these are just so meaty. And I they love were delicious, them. and I love that they have so many sauces to choose from as well. That's something I don't know that we mentioned. That there's so many different sauces to choose from, and they're delicious. Right. Well, they have. Uh, let's see. They have a regular. They have the spicy regular. They have the spicy bourbon, sweet bourbon, and the Carolina sludge, which is a mustard, mustard base. base. Yeah, yeah, they're all equally good. Right. Very good. Any, I any of those are just great choices. Yeah, and it's kind of fun to just dip them in each. You know, kind of also have that dip variety. fries in. And, oh yeah. And your, I saw you do that with your muffin. I did. No. <laughs> <Or muffin. laughs> okay. Next came the triple treat barbecue platter, thirteen ninety nine. This was tri tip, mm -hmm. brisket, pulled pork. This come, came with uh, two sides. We had they have a special kale salad and mac and cheese. Oh my gosh! Let's talk about the sides first. Yes. The kale salad. Oh my gosh! It had a little vinegar in it. I'm not even sure what else they had bacon. in there. Bacon. It was bacon. Okay, that's why I liked it. It was very, very good. Smoky. A lot of tangy. people don't like kale for some reason, but oh, this one's really, really that good. That was amazing. It was good. Like seriously, I want just like a jug of it to go. <laughs> we'll get that for you. Okay. And then the mac and cheese. What's Yum. nice about that? It was smoked, uh, real sharp cheddar cheese. And it's excellent. I it's mean, it's well made fresh it. to order and yep. so good. It's delicious, actually. Oh, geez. And then the last entree was the pastrami sandwich, $9.99. Now, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, pastrami's pastrami. But after I tried it, it was like, no, 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 this is different. They get the pastrami, they grill it on a, a flat grill. Right. Then they, they spritz it with barbecue sauce. So it's kind of a mix with barbecue sauce. And the results are amazing because it's a light barbecue sauce almost. It, 
I'm not sure just how smoky. they do it. It's just it, smoky. It's just delicious. Yeah. And it's not the the it wasn't that fatty and it's no. just a different version of pastrami. Usually you right. think of Langers or or Cantor's, you know, the the peppery. T- you know, right. I couldn't taste the pepper, but this is excellent. It's soaked into the bread. And it comes with fries and a drink for $9.99. I mean, that's a steal. Yeah, I, I really am not a fan of pastrami, and I absolutely love this dish. I took a bite of the meat, and I was like, whoa. And I went in for a few more bites. Then there's dessert. <sighs> this is a house-made banana bread pudding with rum sauce, $4.95. All I can say is marshmallow, <laughs> raisins, banana, um, bread, cream, eggs, and a whole bunch of other things they wouldn't tell me. Ugh. Absolutely marvelous. Yeah. I pretty much uh, died and went to heaven. <laughs> I loved it. Okay, Tricia, what are three of your favorites? Obviously, the bread pudding. That was absolutely exceptional. Um, I love the mill burger. I love the smokiness of the meat with the burger and the bun. I love You're that. The person. And the chili. The chili was so good on a cold day. Boy, I want that mm-hmm. for sure. I like the kitchen sink omelet. I mean, with all the different meats and the flavor combinations, portion was huge. It's enough for two meals, easy. Three. So I thought that was very, very good. Mm -hmm. Again, the meal burger was really a a messy creation. But delicious. A lot of flavor to Mm -hmm. it. And the chili. I thought that chili was excellent and it just fooled me. I agree. That's chicken and turkey, so. Yeah, surprising. But the flavors were so good. You know, I'm really proud of the owners. They've really um, listened to Robert Irvine and and their customers, too. It's a really lovely little restaurant. And um, in the past, they've been knocked for a lot of different things, but all that's gone. I think, again, the food, the service, everything here is, and the prices are amazing. Oh, the prices are amazing. And it's a nice little place, again, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I would definitely come back and... uh, I'm going to, in fact, tomorrow. I'll be back. Good stuff. <laughs> well, Trisha, I don't know about you, but I'm starving. It's been about an hour since we've eaten, so why don't you tell everybody where we're going to go next? Yes. We're going to go just down the street to Mill Creek Cattle Company and have some cowboy grub and delicious food, and stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. Hi, cowgirls. Hi, cowboys. Welcome to Mill Creek Cattle Company in Mentone, y'all. Looking more like a backdrop of an old Western movie set, Mill Creek Cattle Company in Mentone is truly a unique, one-of-a-kind family restaurant. The large, old-style Western-themed restaurant is jam-packed with lots of Western memorabilia, while the menu features an enormous variety of tasty smoked barbecue meats, award-winning burgers, and other delicious items. Owners Jim and Mary Beth Lotito and their family invite you to mosey on over for some mighty fine grub. This is what one incredible restaurant. You know, when you drive by, it, it looks like an old movie set. It really does. Town. Yeah. And as you walk through this, I mean, there's all kinds of different rooms, and there's so much to see in the front dining rooms. There's two dining rooms, a beautiful bar. It's all wooden. Yes. It's gorgeous. And again, you look in the ceiling, you look on the, everywhere, there's something there. Then in the back, there's a room. It's called, uh, what, Diamond Jim's? Diamond Jim's, I think, Tavern or, yeah. or Saloon, maybe. Saloon, Opera House or something. But anyway, it's a gigantic room. It's great for banquets. They have entertainment yes. here. They have all kinds of you know, activities here. But again, the walls are covered with instruments and more memorabilia. Lots of heads of animals. <laughs> so, PETA, you may not want to come here. But this is like one of the most picturesque restaurants I've ever seen. This is a restaurant you'd find in like Montana, or Idaho. You don't expect to see it right here. Right here in, in, in Mentone. Mentone. We said that together. Yeah, you know, so. It kind of reminds me of, if you ever went to Disneyland, that remember Bear Country Jamboree? There's something on every area. And the ceiling of this place was an old chicken coop. And these poles behind us were um, old, beds old beds and all kinds of stuff going on well, here. Maybe, who knows? Maybe the animals will talk to us later. Maybe they will. Who fun, knows? So. Let's, Let's get right into yeah, it. Fun, absolutely. Fun. First item we had, country fried steak. This was $15.95. This is a 14 to 16 ounce pounded sir, um, sirloin steak. It's dipped in buttermilk, then dredged in seasoning, seasoned flour. It's put on a grill, not high, not um, deep fried. Deep fried. It's right. on a grill, so it's not real crispy as most are, but it gets the good flavor to it. 
the meat as tender as can be. Very. Country gravy, mashed, real mashed potatoes, very tender meat, delicious. I loved it. And the portions here are huge. I, I cannot say enough about the size they look of like the me. food. They look like me. You can say <laughs> it. They look like us. I'm proud of it. We're sad. Next, double roast beef sandwich, $11.95. This is one pound of juicy, tender, sliced roast beef. It's dipped in au jus with grilled onions, grilled bell peppers, pepper jack cheese, a side of horseradish, and it's served on a house-made sourdough bun. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. What does it for me was the jack cheese, the pepper jack cheese, yeah. gives it the spice, the sweet bell peppers, the sweet or caramelized onion, but the horseradish, that just makes the dish perfect. It's a perfect marriage of all the ingredients. And if you like meat, this is what you gotta get. This is a huge sandwich. It's really enough for two people, but well, meat you'll is love it. the theme. If you like meat, you're gonna like everything on the menu. And did you talk about the ajou? Because they're ajou, you know, most ajou is ajou a jajou. But this I'm one is, an ajou. I know, but this has a particularly good flavor. I mean yeah. you could literally eat it like a soup. Well it's not real salty, that's why I like it. Right, but it has a really nice developed flavor. Right. Now, do you dream of meat? I know you do. <laughs> I know you dream of meat. This next item is for you. This is a five item, that's right, five item barbecue combo. $27.95 for five items. This is what you get, folks. Okay, so you get two sides with it. We chose mac and cheese. We'll talk about that in a minute. Country beans, very good. So we chose smoked brisket. This is smoked for four, 14 hours that he smokes this. He puts a dry rub on it. He uses citrus and mesquite woods. You know, it has a light smoky flavor. If you love smoke, it's not real a delicate. real intense right. flavor. It's a very delicate flavor, but the meat is so tender and juicy. Then there was pulled pork, five to six hours. Again, it's dry rubbed, it's put in the smoker. This, I think, had the most pronounced smoky flavor of all the meats and that I'm we had. I'm not sure why, maybe because it's, it's shredded. Because it's shredded, it's shredded. They probably pop it back in there to give it a little extra smoky love. Then we had uh, pork ribs. It's that smoked uh, for about two and a half hours. And these are about two to three ribs on there. Very nice size. Very meaty. Tender, juicy. So then there was a half a chicken. Beautiful presentation. They citrus marinate it, they grill it, and smoke it. So I guess smoke then grill would be. Very tender, beautiful skin on it, delicious. And then last but not least, tri-tip. Two and a half hours smoked, dry rubbed, tender, beautiful bark on it. I mean, the meats, every single one was delicious. I kept going back in for more meat, more it, meat. It's a lot of meat. meat. It's a lot of meat. Okay, so the mac and cheese. It's it's a traditional mac and cheese, and when I say traditional, I mean a bechamel style where it's the cheeses with the cream sauce um, instead of the panko or a bread crumb topping. They have cheese, which I prefer. I know you like a bread topping. No, no, it's, but this is excellent. A lot of cheese in it. That's what I like about it. Lots of cheese. Really great mac and cheese. Um, then we had their beans. I think they call them country beans. Right. I'm not a huge bean lover, and I was expecting more of a barbecue bean, but these were actually really good. They had a nice developed and flavor. They weren't ranch style. They weren't baked beans. They were kind, kind of in the, in the middle. middle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're thinking like that's oh, scary. Oh no, this is scary. I'm scared. I have the next one. Actually, I have the next two. Mufalata. I always say Mufalata? Mufalata. Mufalata. $10. Okay, so this is a, a, a giant sandwich. Salami, uh, hot capicola, which is like a prosciutto. It's a, it's a cured meat. It's a pork meat. A spicy. Provolone cheese topped with um, black and green olives and a roasted red pepper and then sliced tomatoes. Uh, extra virgin olive oil and vinegar on a sourdough roll that they make in-house. And it's delicious. This is like the best Italian style sandwich you had, but amplified, you know, well, it, it really was. Well, to make some nice is they marinate everything. The olives and the bell peppers are marinated yeah. with olive oil and vinegar. Yeah. So you get a little kick to it. It's, it's a between a, a, a like a tapenade and yeah. a jaranara. It's kind of in between. In between. But it really brings all the meats out and makes it so good. Then there was a smoked turkey sandwich, $9.95. This is slow roasted turkey breast that they make here. Oven roasted, then smoked, delicious. Avocado, bacon, Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo, cranberry sauce on that homemade bun that they make here, which is Very so, good. it's so fluffy on the outside and it's kind of shiny on the outside. It just says, fluffy. eat me. You know, the smoked turkey is so delicious and I love turkey and cranberry. My critique is, I felt like cream cheese would elevate the sandwich. It needed something and the I, mayonnaise was lost on it. I just like to see more cranberries. I would just put more cranberry sauce on it. I would do more cranberry, but I want cream cheese. And mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll do it if you ask. And they're very, I suggested it to the owner and he said, oh, we're always open sure, to suggestions. Sure, he just to get, to get us out of here. I know, right? Been here forever. Just humor so. us. Next, this is a, something very traditional. A lot of people may not like it, but I do. 
That's what matters. Liver and onions, <laughs> $13.95. This is two thick slices of lightly floured calf's liver. They pan fry it, so it's nice and a little crispy on the outside, but absolutely perfect. Great seasoning. It's grilled with onions and bacon that's chopped up. If you like liver, this is a great addition. They were telling me, Jim was telling me, that people come from all over just for liver. It's hard to find liver and onions. It is. I grew up with it. I don't eat it every day, but I tell you, if you like liver, and again, it's not tough or anything, this is a great rendition. Yeah, I did try it, and my dad loves liver and onions, and I think it's, it is generational. I think there is a certain generation that grew up eating it, and it is something, it's a comfort food, if you will. Right. And I know that when I, we, we came here, I sent my dad a picture of it, and he was like, oh my gosh, he was so excited. And anything smothered in bacon and onions, come on. Yeah, it's really good stuff. It is good. It did taste good. I did taste it, but just... We're well, not a liver person, so... Thinking about it kind of grossed me See, I don't think about it. I just eat it. You I think, think too much. It. That's your problem. I think too much. Now, this next one is, is a mouth buster. <laughs> this is a stuffed double cheeseburger, eleven ninety five. dollars If you have a spouse and you think they have a big mouth, <laughs> bring them here. This is gigantic, honestly, folks. Oh I'm not my kidding. Gosh. This is a house baked roll, as all the rolls are, yeah. with cheddar cheese, American cheese, in between two beef patties. They're both nine ounces each. Oh my goodness. Applewood bacon, sliced red onions, lettuce, tomato, pickles avocado, a creamy jalapeno chipotle cheese sauce. We had it with uh, sweet fries, which were great. Sweet potato fries, yeah. This was an amazing burger, and again, your mouth, I don't think anybody's, I don't know anybody with a big you mouth. You put your big mouth on it. Well, I you, tried. on camera, but I had that big thing. Well, that was, that was for exercise, for the Olympics, the eating Olympics, but that was delicious. It wasn't just big, you can't judge it just on that, but it had a lot of flavor. I loved the cheese sauce. It was excellent, it was real sharp, cheddar. It reminded me of really pimento cheese sauce. That's what it reminded me of. It had that. With a lot of heat. It, with heat yeah. to it, but it had that pimento cheese kind of flavor. That's what I liked about it. There's so much it. cheese in this, and it's just a beautiful burger. Yeah. No one's going to say, where's the beef in this one? No. I agree. There's something special about this burger, though, and I think for me, it has that backyard grilled, charbroiled flavor that you don't get at most restaurants. So I'm, it has that really great flavor to the meat alone. And then you add all that cheese and, and cheese. that sort of pimento heaven. cheesy flavor. Heaven, yeah, heaven. it is good. It's Barbecue a heaven. hot mess. I'm not eating it. You know, leave it to him. He'll yeah, don't, don't try cutting it. Just grab it. it and stuff it in. I thought you said nobody had a big enough mouth. Well, you'll find it. People, they know what I'm talking about. Unhinge, so. unhinge. Well, dessert. last but not least, of course we have to have dessert here. They make a uh, banana bread into a bread pudding, which is genius, you know, it's so smart. They do a whiskey butter sauce on top mm, that is so just good. decadent. Whip and cream. then of course they put whipped cream on top. I mean, it's simple, it's good. So for $3.25, you have to add it to, I don't care what you get, for $3.25, add it and take it home. She'll give you the finger and you gotta listen. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you if you got the banana bread bread I, I definitely agree. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. Trisha, what were your three favorites? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna say the five item barbecue meat combo, cause I mean, come on, meats and meats and meats, delicious. I'm gonna say, gosh, uh, the smoked turkey sandwich, but I wanted to have cream cheese. And I'm gonna say, gosh, the mufalata. Cause it's just, I'm Italian and even though it's not really Italian, I just like it. it has the Italian beets in it. Oh, for me it's easy. Double roast beef sandwich, delicious. Sweet onions, caramelized, so good. I would do the smoked turkey sandwich, we agree on that. I would just add more cranberry sauce. Ask for more, they'll give it to you. And cream cheese. And the stuffed double cheeseburger. It is good. Magnificent, messy, so good. questions or suggestions for the Let's Dine Out Show, contact Alan or Trisha, or visit letsdineoutshow.com. Oh, I'll tell you, Trisha, <laughs> two great restaurants in Mentone, and we're, this is our lucky day. We're here on a Monday shooting, yes. and this is Taco Monday. But not just tacos, we're talking, first of all, $1.25 a taco, <laughs> enchiladas is $1.25, rice and beans $1.25, Margarita's three dollars. Are our we not lucky? Dinos. We have more food. <sighs> yeah, I'm. I am so full. I, I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I'm tired of eating. But I do want to try. Want to taste it, so. This well, before you do that, we gotta say goodbye to everybody. So right. until next week, food critic Alan Borgen here, and I'm Trisha Jansen. Happy eating, everybody, and drinking, and, and drinking. enjoying life. Enjoy our. Be mom. happy. Let's see. Hmm. I can't even get it up. Hmm. Good. Okay, let me try this here. I'm afraid this is gonna just take off. 
Hey, Bullwinkle, look down there at those city slickers. Who do they think they are, food critics or something? Especially that big guy with a Hawaiian shirt. Doesn't he know this is the Wild West? He scares me. Look at all the meat on him. And her, what a princess. All she's doing is complaining. It's hot. It's dirty. I'm hot. I want to get out of here. You know, these humans, they're so spoiled. They don't know what rough is. Oh, hush now, you moose. Let's watch them do their show. That should be fun. Oh, crap. I think they saw me talking. Quick, be still. Closed captioning provided by Sammy's Cafe No. 2. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Sammy's Cafe No. 2 in Rancho Cucamonga. Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa, providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa. Bratworks Gourmet Hot Dogs in Redlands. Contemporary casual dining featuring gourmet hot dog and sausage sandwiches, salads, and other culinary creations. Other locations in San Bernardino and Palm Desert. The Castle Restaurant, serving an assortment of hot and cold appetizers, Middle Eastern entrees with live entertainment, The Castle Mediterranean Restaurant in Riverside. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you.